Good morning, I'm Lucille. I'm from St Matthew's St Chad and I'm here at home leading a service today. Welcome and good morning. Today we gather to commemorate VE Day. So let us pray. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God has been our refuge and our strength, present help in time of trouble. As we commemorate VE Day, 75 year anniversary, we remember that on this day, the sounds of war were silenced. So let us pray. Lord, today we remember and call to mind our need of your forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, as we remember, cast out our sin of dominating others. Christ, have mercy. Lord, Heal us from the desires that lead us into conflict and war. Lord, have mercy. I'm going to read to you a reading from the prophet Micah. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised up above the hills. People shall stream to it, and many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, he shall judge between peoples, and shall arbitrate between strong nations far away. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But shall all sit under their own vines, and under their own fig trees, and no one shall make them afraid. The mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. For me, that's a beautiful reading. It tells us of God's promises, that one day there will be no time of war and an enduring peace. And I thought about this peace that lasts forever. I thought to myself, I hope that time will be on earth. But even if it's not, I believe absolutely that it will be the time in heaven. So let's pray on this day. First of all, Lord, we remember the many people who gave their lives to restrain evil and oppose tyranny. We remember soldiers, sailors and airmen who gave their lives that others may live. We also remember all those who were hurt and maimed. Lord, as we remember this day, we give you thanks for the sacrifices of the past. We give you thanks for the years of peace. We give you thanks for all who help, encourage and comfort others. We give you thanks for all who work for the relief of the needy. And we give you thanks for all who work for peace and the welfare of all nations. Lord, on this day of commemoration, we offer ourselves to you to serve you. Help us to serve you in the cause of peace for the relief of suffering and for praise of your name.
Lord, this day, teach us the ways of peace and the ways of hope. Guide us by your spirit. Lend us your wisdom. Give to us courage and keep us faithful now and in the years to come. Amen. Let's now pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. This day, I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you're doing nice things, partying even. So go out into this day. Remember the errors of the past. Give thanks for this beautiful day. And pray for God's kingdom to come. And so I send you with a blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, be with all you love and all you pray for, now and always. Amen. Have a wonderful day.